powerful. Uh, Paul says he is ready. Karen says yes. Well, the first song that we're going to do today is Love Me Tender from a uh, well-known musician, singer, guitar player called Elvis. Okay. Has anybody heard of Elvis before? All right. It's also kind of has to do with the theme of this month as well. It is uh, uh, yesterday for those people who celebrated Valentine's Day. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. So love is in the air, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, you live in uh, a in the northern hemisphere and it's really cold outside, well... You know, the love can keep you warm, and so can your guitar, and so can a little bit, a little bit of Elvis. All right. So, all right. What we're going to do first, as always, is I am going to show you. Um, I am going to. All right, I can block that off uh, a little bit. I'm going to do a demonstration, and then uh, we're going to do it all together. Right. So. Here we are. A one, two, three, four. Uh. try to do it fast like that. Uh, I'm going to make sure that everybody is, uh, you know, doing it at a slower tempo, because that's uh, the way we should learn it. But again, just to get this demonstration out of the way, so you all can do this with me, and we can do it all together. And again, uh, the notes, uh, the, the names of the strings are on the left-handed side of the tablature, of the first line of the tablature. So, here we have the second part. Okay, so the first part was eight measures, and the second part, the chorus, is eight measures. So here we go. A one, sorry, a one, where, why aren't the numbers starting? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, I know it was pretty fast. All right, so here we are. A one, two, three, four.
as well from Irache, uh, who says uh, finds it easier uh, to pick with the fingers than using the plectrum, as I find it easier to hit the right strings. That's entirely okay. Um, I'm using a plectrum. You can use your fingers, and when you're using your fingers, you can pick with your thumb, or you can pick with the I and M fingers. Okay, so either with the thumb or the I and M fingers. Okay, excuse me. So, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay, that's all right. All right, all right, so let us uh, move on to do the second half of the melody. All right, you all want to try the second half of the melody now. Is that all right? All right, and we'll go back and we'll try to do everything together after we do the second half of the mel uh, melody, the chorus melody. All right, so again, we uh, must play the high E string. Okay, and we're starting with the open high E string. Here we go. A one, two, three, and four. Four. Two. Ready. And. Um, 
you know, it's not the worst thing in the world that that, that first finger uh, will be getting much, much stronger. And, and, and that's great because we want to develop our fingers so they get stronger. But we want to develop all of our fingers. So, uh, again, for the purposes of this lesson, if you are, you know, if it's a little bit messy when you're using all of your fingers and you move to maybe one or two fingers, you know, I'll let that slide. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to go tell the principal or nothing on you. You know, that, uh, that's fine. But, you know, if and when you get the chance over the weekend and you, you want to sit down and practice, really try incorporate as all of the fingers uh, because we have to use all of our fingers when we're playing the guitar. And we're going to start seeing that a lot from next, uh, from uh, lesson five onwards when we're starting to learn our chords. And when we're playing chords, we have to use multiple fingers at the same time. Okay? So, um, uh, that is correct, Susan. That is correct. All right, so let's give everybody a round of applause here. Let's give everybody a little round of applause. And let us continue. Let us do this a couple more times this second half, and then we'll put everything together. All right, so here we go. A one, two, ready, and... Introduction. 
uh, to hit the road jack. It's this intro uh, repetition that happens over and over uh, until the band, uh, until you know the lyrics come in and the melody comes in and, and whatnot. And this um, introduction, okay, this intro, all right, mimics, okay, mimics what the bass player would be doing. And this is something that the guitar does a lot, all right? One of the roles of playing the guitar is learning how to play the melody. Uh, another role is playing the rhythm. And the third, last kind of like minor, or the last role, which is kind of a minor role, is sometimes the guitar mimics what the bass does. And this is kind of like a little bit of a bass line that you can play on the guitar. That's very, very fun. Um, and uh, before I continue, I just want to uh, answer Hamida's question. Do I have to press hard on the strings to get a uh, good tune? Uh, I think she means a good tone. Um, so, uh, yes, Hamida, uh, you need to press hard, uh, but you also need to press in the correct position. Okay. Uh, Waleed, yes, uh, just one second. I'll be right back to you. So, when we are pressing our fingers, right, when we are fretting, right, we want to make sure that our finger is, first of all, it's not flat. It kind of has this, right, all of the fingers kind of have this shape, right? It's not flat when I'm pressing on, right? And then... All right, let's say I have to play the second fret of the G string, which is right here. All right, I'm playing right behind, right, right behind, I'm pressing right behind the fret, this vertical metal strip. All right, I'm not pressing on it. I'm also not pressing here in the back. I'm pressing kind of closer to the front. All right, so the middle to the front is where you want to be pressing. And again, you want to have this curve in your finger as well. And yes, you need to press hard. I mean, you can see the lines in my fingers from pressing the strings. Okay, that is normal. That is okay. And if you're, you know, a beginner guitar player, it might be a little bit sore, but that soreness goes away very quickly. Now, uh, Waleed had a question as well. If you want to type in that question while I do a demonstration of this introduction to Hit the Road Jack. And notice, right, with this like little bass line that we're going to be doing, starts on the open A string and then third and first frets of the low E string and then the open low E string. All right, so here we go. A one... Two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That was a little bit fast, all right, a little bit fast, but here we go. A one, one more time, a one, two, three, four, one, one, two, try to do that together, ladies and gentlemen. Get an open A string, third finger if you can. Put your third finger on the third fret of the low E string. If you have to put your first finger or second finger, I'll let that slide for now. Okay? And then first finger on the first fret of the low E string, and then the open low E string. Alright, so let's try that. A one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, Four. One, two. And it's okay to look. Two, three, four. If you need to look. Okay. This here is actually a very, very, very um, common uh, chord progression. And I know we're playing single notes, but. Uh, if you were to play the chords that go along with this bass line, it's a very, very common chord progression. Okay. All right, Marek says this is fun, wonderful. I think so, too. All right. A one, a one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay. Let's do that again. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. Any questions about this one so far? Um... Uh, here we are. A one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was a little faster, but uh, hopefully uh, that's something that you all can handle. Again, it's not way too difficult. Uh, Waleed, I would just say. Do your best, do your best with these songs because they do really help with your technique, okay? So, a one, so, one more time, a one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Pranav says, I love the way this sounds. Wonderful. Um, Hamida, what do you mean, can you press the string from the other side? Do you mean from, like, from the top of the fretboard? And if that is your question, then absolutely not. Absolutely not. We, we must come from the bottom. Must come from the bottom. Okay. So... Before I continue, I just want to make sure, I know you were paying attention, but I just want to make sure the introduction of Hit the Road Jack mimics what instrument? The keyboard, the organ, the bass, or the trumpet, and you all were saying the answers, <laughs> even before I could put them out there, you all are absolutely great. Good job, Ashley, Susan, Omar, Paul, Barry, all right. Um... All right, awesome, great to hear, John, Antonia, very good, all right, it is the bass indeed, all right, so this introduction does mimic, all right, the bass, okay, so, let's give you all a round of applause, a round of applause, all right, so, all right, now, all right, here we have the melody, all right, which I was also playing earlier uh, before the lesson started. And, you know, first of all, this might, you know, definitely looks more complicated than what you just saw with the introduction. However, it's still doable. It's still within the reach of uh, your abilities. So, again, with all of this, just make sure that you think that you can, that you believe that you can, and you will, you will be playing this. So, I'm going to be doing a demonstration first, and then uh, we will go from there. A one, sorry, where are we here? A one, two, ready.
so for this one, you know, I figured I'd challenge you all a little bit with this because here we have the open, hold on a second, let me make myself a little bit bigger here. All right, here we have the open high E string. So what does this open high E string allow us to do? All right, this is, might be uh, the first time that many of you are will be venturing away from these lower frets, all right? Because as you can see, the next couple of frets that we need to play are the fifth fret on the high E string and the eighth fret of the high E string. So the fact that we have this open high E string, that allows us to let go of this position, all right? As you can see, my thumb is still on the back of the neck. I, and I just move the thumb up, okay? And I move the thumb up to this second dot here, okay? The dot represents the fifth fret. So, again, what does that mean? While I am playing, now this takes a little bit of coordination, that's why I gave you the spider exercises, that's why we're doing all of these melodies to build up the coordination. So while you're playing... That high E string, your thumb is, and you can look down, and when your thumb gets to that dot here, you stop. Alright, and that is where your first finger will press that fifth fret of the high E string. Alright, so here, first finger is on the fifth fret. Hold on, let me move this down here. Alright, fifth fret of the high E string. Alright, and then we have this eighth fret. But we're already kind of in this shape, in this position. Right? And our fourth finger, alright, our pinky finger is on the eighth fret of the high E string. Alright, and then the next note, alright, fifth fret of the high E string, first finger. Okay, so, and then we have that open E string again, which kind of allows us again to let go of that fifth fret and jump down back into our open position, all right, our first position, I should say. Okay, and so I know this is maybe a little, you know, kind of complicated, all right, but, whoops, before I continue, I just want us to work on this little section, all right? <laughs> Let me get the mouse to point uh, to this, all right? So before we continue, just want to practice this little section here, all right? So we want to play the open high E twice, okay? First finger on the fifth fret of the high E string. Okay, and then fourth finger on the eighth fret of the high E string, and then back, first finger on the fifth fret of the high E string, and then open E, first finger of the B string. So, let's try to do that a couple times around. A one, two. Try that again. I'm in the open position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. One more time, then we'll try to do it. Alright, a one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay. So one of those things when you are learning how to play melodies, when you're learning how to play any sort of melody, okay, and you come to a spot that's kind of like a trouble spot, and right? you're like, oh man, how am I going to play this, all right, you just work on that little part over and over again before you put everything else together, okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, all right, with what finger must we use to press the eighth fret of the high E string 
in this melody of Hit the Road Jack, the first, the second, the third, or the fourth finger. All right. Yes, Pranav. Let's let's use the uh, the names though. The very good Barry fourth exactly. John, it is indeed the fourth. Susan Hesham, very very good. Esra, very good. All right. So let's try to do this a couple times, ladies and gentlemen, and um, you know, um, then we'll move on to the next melody. All right. So a one. Two, a three, four. Whoops, sorry, I forgot that it, uh, we start on beat four on this measure that is the pickup measure, okay? So, a one, two, three, four, and one, two. you this. Did you think that you would be playing any part of 
this melody hit the road, Jack, before today's lesson? Did you even think that you, you would be able to do this? Okay. All right. Uh, Frank says no. Um, Antonia says no. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, it, it, it's really... You know, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, ladies and gentlemen, um, is that, you know, if you sit down, set your mind to something, that you will start seeing results. And just the fact, even if you only or maybe have 30% of it, 40% of it, that is 30, 40% more than you knew before. All right? That's 100% more than you knew before because you didn't know how to do it at all before. So, again, I, I really, really do, do applaud each and every one of you for really taking this up and and pushing forward through it. And I'm sure, I, 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 I and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's safe to assume that you all do want to learn how to play this melody 100%. Okay, and so and so that's really great too that you have that desire to keep going and to keep pushing yourself. All right, so I want to move to the next um, song, which is a melody from the song "Marry You." Okay, um, which is by Bruno Mars, who is pretty famous right now. Okay, so. Here we have uh, something new as well. All right, Colin says, didn't think I'd be able to do even this much. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Uh, all right, so this is uh, has one little trick to it, one little curveball. And uh, for those of you not from the United States or Canada, a curveball is a weird uh, <laughs> I was about to say curving, but kind of looping ball it's, that's getting thrown at you. It doesn't go straight at you. It kind of, you know, changes direction in the last second. Okay, so let me, um, let me uh, demonstrate this for you. Sorry. A one, two, three.
last note and uh, the second fret of the high E string. Alright, so let's try to do that all together. Okay, this first part, alright, this first part right here, alright, this is one of the first occurrences where we have the second fret of a string, but we do not play it with our second finger, okay? The second fret of the G string. Because the next notes are also on the second fret of a different string, it's kind of hard, it's harder, I should say, to jump with the same finger from one string and one fret to the, another string on that same fret. So what we're going to do is these first two notes we're going to press, we're going to fret with our first finger, okay, on the second fret of the G string, and then we play, we use our second finger to fret the second fret of the high E string. Okay, so first the G, and then the high E string. Okay? So, let's try it in a one, two, three.
right? Let's do that again. One, two, ready, and... Answer me this one more question. 
if you uh, remember, in the last part of the song, Marry You, all right, the third part, on um, what fret on the high E string is the last note? The first, second, third, or fourth. First, second, third, or fourth. Prana, very good. Iratse, John, very good. Indeed, we end that last note on the second fret. On the second fret. Alright, so I need to use your memories a little bit there. If you didn't get it, that's okay. You're not being graded. Uh, it's just, you know, just to make sure that you're trying to focus in as much as possible. Very good, Dima. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we just worked on melodies. We just worked on trying to play some music. Alright, and so first of all... Really great job. Congratulations, okay, on learning 